gacha pawns. Love them or hate them, Japan is filled to the brim with these little machines and their containers that might just contain that one figure that you want. Or the third identical figure of a character that you didn't want in the first place. But yeah, from the moment you enter Japan to the moment you leave Japan and every waking moment in between, you will be confronted with these little nod gambling machines. And the variety is truly stunning. You can find them in the airport, on random street corners, and even in dedicated gachapon stores where they have hundreds of machines. And what's in them is equally varied. You've got the classics like keychains and figures, but you've even got card gachapons, clear file gachapons, used lingerie gachapons, and even mystery gachapons where you can spend hundreds or even thousands of yens to win big or go home with a worthless consolation prize. So I decided to see what 100 US dollars worth of Gundam Gachapon would get me and if at the end it was worth it. And by the conversion rates of when I recorded this video, 100 USD was roughly equal to 14,900 yen. And things didn't start out particularly well. For nostalgia's sake, I started off with this Gundam Wing Gachapon and tried my luck at getting a Leo. But the machine was apparently camera shy and refused to take my coins at first. But after a bit of convincing off camera, the machine eventually cooperated and I got my first five gachapons. I really should have taken the hint and went to a different machine, because my first gacha was the accessory set, followed by another jam, followed by the wing zero, which was at least nice, another accessory set, the Epion, again something that was at least nice, and because I was feeling quote unquote lucky, I tried once more and got a second wing zero. And at this point, I just decided to cut my losses and move on to another gacha. Like the unicorn gacha over at the Gundam base. I threw in my 5 100 yen coins and this time I did get the main one that I wanted. The standard red and white unicorn. My luck was finally getting better and shortly after this, I met my old arch nemesis again. Mobile Suit Ensemble 3. I first came across this machine in 2018 and my god did I never get what I wanted. I just kept getting the Zeta Gundam and the accessory sets to the point that I just went out and bought a Hazel Gundam out of desperation. But now was going to be different. I was finally going to gotcha the Hazel. So with confidence soaring from the Unicorn Gundam I'd gotcha earlier, I put in my 500 yen, turned the wheel, and another accessory set. But undeterred, I tried again. And got an Agai. This was my cue to leave and just buy the Gachapon Hazels that I wanted. This clearly just wasn't meant to be, so I went looking for my next target. And it was at this time that the two new Witch from Mercury gotchas came out. The Rubber Keychain Collection for 300 yen a spin, and the Mobile Suit Ensemble 23 for 500 yen a spin. And considering my amazing luck so far, I really didn't expect anything when I started gotchaing for the keychains. I just wanted Suleta, Mio Mio, and Choo Choo, so my odds of just getting these three weren't great. And my first spin was Nika. Not exactly what I wanted, but also not something that I didn't want, so this was fine. And then things finally started going my way. I got Choo Choo on my second spin, and Gyul on my third spin. After which I stopped recording because I just wanted to get three keychains for the video. But something in the back of my head told me to keep going. 
and I really wish I had recorded this because I managed to gotcha all of the different keychains one by one with only a duplicate Miorine. Finally, I could declare mission successful and moved on to the other Mobile Suit Ensemble machine to get my aerial. I got the barbs, rigged the ass, and moved on. I had already gotten lucky enough. And my next stroke of luck would actually come in the form of an older machine that I wasn't expecting to find. The Ultimate Luminous Zaku 2. A machine where you can get one of three different Zakus and then either a building or a hangar piece that also comes with a lighting unit for the Zakus. So five in total and ideally I wanted one Zaku and one lighting unit. And I managed to pull it off. I got the Desert Zaku and a hangar with lighting unit. So that was pretty great. And in the same store where I found the Ultimate Luminous Zaku machine, they also had a bunch of other really cool gadget pawns. So I just kept going. Like I said in the beginning, you've got all kinds of different gadget pawns, so I decided to mix things up a little bit and get two card packs for 200 yen each. But not after encountering some more mechanical problems. My first card pack just didn't want to come out, so I had to call over the owner of the store to open up the machine. After this one though, the second one popped right out. And I gotta say, I did get some cool cards out of it. I don't know if they're good in the game or how valuable they are, but a Jagan is always a win in my book. And what was really cool about this particular Gachapon store is that they didn't just have slightly older machines, but like decades old machines. I don't know how far back the Chimakore Gundam 2 set is, but I do know that I've had the Omro figure of this set for many, many years, and I thought that it was about time to give him some company. So for 100 yen, I got to add a Chibi Giren to my collection. Exactly what I didn't want. <laughs> And the last thing I went for was the Mobile Suit Ensemble 22 machine, where I got the amazing Dodai Kai. Now, by itself, this would have been kind of a downer, but since I had already gotten the Rig Diaz earlier, this actually makes for a really nice set. A few days later then, I was going to replicate my luck of the Ultimate Luminous Zaku machine, with the MS Mechanical Bust New Gundam Machine. The concept here is kind of the same. You can either get the regular armor set or clear armor set, and then a lighting unit for a total of three different gachapons. The only downside of this set compared to the Zaku set, however, is that the Zakus by themselves were full figures. But if you only got the armor set of the new Gundam, it lacks the eyes and the chest sensor internals, so that one isn't quite complete, meaning that the stakes were somewhat higher here. But my first gotcha went really well. The regular armor set. One of the two that I wanted. Then the second gotcha. Again, the regular armor set. But surely I wouldn't get the same gotcha three times in a row. Right? Right? This is why gambling is bad. And that was the last normal gotcha I did but you might notice that I'm still quite a bit short of my goal of 14,900 yen or 100 US dollars. And well, remember what I said about those mystery gotchas costing hundreds or even thousands of yen? Well, I decided to try some of those too to spice things up a little bit. 
and I mean, just look at those amazing prizes they have on offer. How could you not, at the very least, be enticed by them? After giving them the benefit of the doubt that the winning ticket is actually in the machine. And I started with what, in hindsight, was the worst of the three random gotcha that I tried. For 500 yen a spin, I could win one of the amazing prizes on display, or a random figure inside of the capsule. And things basically started with one red flag after another. The machine just wouldn't take my coins at first, and then when I finally got it to accept the coins, it gave me Makuve's machine, the Gyan. It really tried to stop me, but I just wouldn't listen, so after that I got the SD Exus, a Sword Impulse figure, and this Hygog figure, which was one of the higher stake prizes. Not too shabby, considering that I could have gotten more Makuve stuff, but again, in hindsight, I would have gotten more value out of the later machines. So, a few days later, I tried a different random gacha in another store. And what I did like about this one was that you always got to choose something. Again, in go the 500 yens, and again, I only got the consolation prize. But, like I said, at least here I could dig through a pile of minifigs and find myself a nice nuclear Mobius and Silver Jim Sniper Custom. And in this store, they didn't just have a 500 yen machine, but also a 3000 yen machine, with even more amazing prizes. So, would this be the gacha that made this whole video worth it? Would I walk away with a metal build after all? Would I be able to make an amazing thumbnail for this video? Nope. And when looking at this image, you might be thinking that I got Jim the mobile suit, but super deformed. But no, it is Jim the Votom. So yeah, this is what a grand total of 14,900 yen or 100 USD worth of Gundam Gachapons looks like. And, well, I could have gotten even more if I hadn't gone for the mystery gotchas. The second 500 yen one actually left me pretty satisfied because I do really like these little Gundam figures. But the first one was pretty meh, and the 3000 one I honestly would have never been able to justify if I hadn't been making a video about it. 3000 yen can get you a lot of cool shit in Akihabara. So, while I can totally recommend trying a Gachapon or two, staying away from the more expensive mystery ones might be best to avoid disappointment. And one final important thing to point out here is that there are a lot of stores in Japan that will buy and sell Gachapons. So, keep that in mind if you just want one particular Gacha. And that has been all for this very random video. As always, a big thanks to the Patreon supporters, I hope everyone watching has a great day, and I'll see you all next time.